All right, welcome everybody. Um, I'd like to welcome you and do our fourth segment in the series of our uh, MAT Practitioner Spotlight. And today we're, we have the honor of having Megan Leba, uh, one of our top practitioner instructors for the MAT process. Um, we have an interview with her today, literally just to tell, talk about her history, her experiences with MAT, which have been uh, pretty significant. Uh, this is going to be a unique interview because Megan probably has the uh, largest role in in the MAT education process, uh, growth of the program, and um, literally she um, and she has to deal with me. <laughs> Megan, Megan works at the corporate facility. Um, she teaches for us. She teaches all levels of education and. Uh, most significantly, she's our main instructor for the RX process, which is the highest level of education. And um, like I said, I mean, one of the things I, I, my role in MAT is research and development, and she's had the the role, the honor or the curse, I don't know, of, of uh, being involved with directly with me in the research and development side of the MAT process all the way from its evolution to from the specialist program into what is now the RX process. And so she's seen and done things that no one else in the MAT community has experienced. And um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, I don't know, but it's been such a, I mean, such a, a blessing to have her involved in, in helping the evolution of this process because the main goal for everybody here is to, uh, to provide a great education program so that we can help uh, other people. I mean, help people get healthy. And uh, she's played a significant role in, in the development of all of that. And so Megan came into the process. She started, finished her specialist program in 2008. So it's been about 14 years that she's been a practitioner. Uh, then she evolved in 2013. She got her master's degree. Uh, I mean, sorry, she... Uh, and is, uh, certified at master level, uh, but she also she went through the what it originally was Globe University, and now we work it through Broadview University, uh, which many of you are uh, aware of now because our whole education program is tied in with the Broadview uh, education model. And Megan was probably our first one to graduate. Um, she actually has two master's degrees, one from Globe, which was the precursor uh, to what we're doing with Broadview, and then she got a second master's, which uh, it was huge, uh, but a two double masters in um, in the program through through a Broadview University, and then she went on through the RX program, and in the RX program she was in the first group, and she's I mean right from the start she was an assistant in the RX process because she worked directly with me and was really the only other person besides me that knew anything about the process. And um, so she was one of the original assistants and, uh, and <clears throat> kind of got her education in uh, as an assistant and got the first certification uh, in 2015 um, in the RX process. So she was in that first group. And I was just saying, wow, it's amazing to think that this whole process started in 2000. 11, 2012, so 10 years, the RX process had been out there for 10 years, and that's amazing. So anyway, what I'd like to do is introduce Megan. Like I said, she has a, a significant history with MAT. Uh, she works right here at the corporate office and, and um, has been a huge uh, advocate and uh, representative of, of this MAT process as both a practitioner and one of our main educators. So I'd like to have her introduce herself and tell kind of her experience of uh, what got her here, why, how she got to MAT in the first place, and, and we'll just let the conversation flow from there. So welcome, Megan. Okay. Well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it has been an extreme blessing to be part of this community for as long as I have, um, even previous to me starting the specialist program back in 2007, I actually started MAT as a client in high school. I had dislocated my kneecap and they were talking about doing surgery and at the very best case scenario, I'd have, have to wear a knee brace for the rest of my life. And it just was not great. Um, and I did physical therapy and it helped a little bit, but not, not enough. And thankfully I actually had Greg work on me 
And within two sessions, I had no pain, no swelling, no issues, and was back to, I was a competitive softball player. I was able to go back and continue doing what I was doing. Um, and it allowed me to keep playing through high school and college. And that's how I knew this is what I wanted to do. So I actually picked a degree in college, not that they have, you know, majors for muscle activation techniques, but knowing this is what I wanted to do, I got my degree in biology. And the minute I graduated, I started the specialist program. And even during learning MAT through the specialist program, I worked actually kind of behind the scenes of the education program, um, signing people up for classes and, and learning the backside of the company as well, which was a really interesting and cool experience. Yeah, so it's, I mean, great. She's been here from the ground floor. Like, I mean, working summers or uh, I'm out, out when she was on vacation from college, she worked at the, the office. So she's been, been around forever and has seen a lot. And the, this education process has grown so much. I mean, from the way that we had the in-house model with the uh, eight three-day weekends over a 10-month period and students in-house for, I mean, literally 196 hours of lecture and practical uh, to now our more, um, more specialized online uh, model where you actually can get the education at home at your own convenience and then come in for practical application and testing uh, per body part. Uh, which which is a unique and a unique change that we've made over the last couple of years and uh, seem, seems to be going well. And she's been a part of all of it. She's seen it since the beginning. And uh, uh, like she said, I mean, she had her knee injury or patella kept subluxing and um, literally the medical world is always saying surgery. They wanted to do a lateral release. And I'm like, before you do that, we need to, I mean, at least see what's going on from a muscular standpoint. And it's interesting. I mean, I always say muscles move bones and muscles hold bones in proper alignment. Uh, her muscles weren't holding her patella in proper alignment. And it really came down to being as simple as that. And so she was, she went on and she had a whole college career in, in softball as a pitcher, not having to wear the brace anymore. So what a huge change from continually subluxing the patella and to not having to wear a brace. And then coming in in the in the education side and seeing uh, or from, from an education being trained in the process and and working in in the corporate office. I mean, like I said, I mean, she's seen things that nobody else in MAT has seen. And I always say that from experience level and just what they've what they've been done, there's me, there's Megan, and then there's every other layer RX MAT um, because she the experience we work together. Uh, and as, until COVID, I mean, we we're literally working together at some point in time, four or five days a week, um, doing work together, her working on me, trial and error of the process. And um, I've always said that, I mean, uh, trying to challenge the process had literally taken myself to hell and back many times of trying to trying to learn and experiment and put forces on the body and see how you can increase the ability to tolerate force. And she's had the, the role of having to put me back together every time I've sent myself to hell. Um, but the neat thing is, is, is I've always said I'm a treatment away from feeling better. It didn't matter what happened in a session. If things didn't go right, I stressed my system and uh, we, didn't, we weren't able to fix what we broke that day. And, and, or I was trying something new and find out and, um, it didn't work. <laughs> and so we go back to what we knew worked. And that's the neat part about the MAT process is we can always go back to what we know works and then get back, put back together and try a new thing. And I'll say, Maggie, when working together like that, how, how many times have we tried new things or what has been your experience in seeing this whole um, research and development side of it and how it's evolved? It, it has been absolutely fascinating. Um, I started working on Greg in 2008, shortly after I became certified and it was, it was terrifying um, <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't have a firm grasp on what I was doing. And shortly after we started working is when you started developing that RX process. And I wish I could go back now having the skill set and actually watch the progression unfold 
at the time I was so busy with, oh my gosh, how do I test TFL? Am I in the right place? Wait, what muscle is this again? And it was so overwhelming from that standpoint of just trying to have a grasp on what I was doing that I didn't even have the capabilities to really pay attention at first to how things were progressing. And looking back, it is, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. The, that progress and that just systematic way that you went through and figured out this RX process, um, while still showing how powerful MAT is in its conception and its simplest form, um, and seeing all of the, the changes and the upgrades and everything through that has been a really cool experience. And I'm so thankful that I got to be part of it and then be able to turn everything that I learned into helping other people learn the process as well, because you didn't have to learn how to do this or you learned it so long ago that it just comes so naturally to you, the muscle tests and the positioning and all of that kind of stuff where I had to learn that and being able to take that education and then pass it on to students of, Hey, this is how I learned this. This is how I had to go about doing this. Um, I really enjoy that piece and being able to transfer that information to, to students. Yeah. And that's, and that's one of the great things is, I mean, literally Megan got thrown to the wolves. I mean, <laughs> in the manner of, um, I'm, I mean, I have years of experience above and beyond anyone just because it's what I created and what I do. So um, at one point in time, there was nobody else doing MAT. And so as I evolved the process and realized this is something that's amazing and has a, such a positive impact on people, um, it's like I, I was learning and doing being the only one. Then I realized, oh, it's I need to teach this. And uh, is it reproducible was the was the first thing that I had to say. And for those of you out there that um, have experienced uh, working at the MAT level, even if you've only gone through one body part, one segment, um, I mean, the key is, the nice thing is, is just because it's a par there's a paradigm shift in thought process, in, in the beginning, you don't even have to be good at MAT to have success at MAT because you're going back, you're looking at the body from a completely different um, perspective than most, most other modalities. And so all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're tight here and oh, there's correlating weaknesses and you get those muscles activated. And even if your skill level isn't that high, you can still have success. And people come back after the, I mean, the first module and, and lower body sessions and they'd come back and say, oh my God, I had a person with knee pain or whatever, and they had success, but they also had frustrations. And that's why the, the process continues to evolve is that it's a, one of the things I say is when you add a, a nervous system and immune system to a um, biomechanical system, I mean, literally, you can throw everything you know about biomechanics out the door because it changes the straightforward scientific um, mechanical properties. And, and when you add an immune system and a nervous system. And so I've always continued to challenge and evolve that. And so Megan comes in with it the level of, I mean, never having any hands-on experience, which many of our practitioners uh, come in that way. And Leary, like I said, she got thrown to the wolves. It's like, um, you don't have to be good at MAT to have success with MAT, but as the process gets higher and more intense from master level to, um, to RX level, there's, there's more accountability on the practitioner. Um, and RX level, I mean, you, you can't get away with haphazard skills. And so, so with Megan, it's, it's like, um, she's still learning and trying, like she said, trying to get it, what, where, what's the position of the TFL and trying to go through that. And I'm saying, no, you got to be pushing this direction. You got to set it this way. And, and, uh, and it's like, really, um, I feel bad to, I mean, at some point, because it's like, wow, I mean, what, what was expected out of her was where my mind was with years of of experience and practical, I mean, application on client. And I'm wanting her right away to be like, like where I am. And it's funny because our boy Zach is, is working in our corporate office and he just finished the whole um, series of the modules and he's, done, he's certified as an MAT practitioner and I'll pull him in and, and 
go through the same things. Uh, as you know, I mean, when you set positions for, for muscle tests and when you assess range of motion in the specialist level, it's active movements <coughs> Excuse me. and uh, or active positioning of tests. In the highest level with the RS level, we take over as the practitioner, we passively position joints because then the client can relax and, and they then the structure will move the way it's designed to move without any uh, outside tension from other muscles. And so Zach, come, Zach is in and he, I'm like, no, you gotta be here, you gotta be here. And I'm like, oh yeah, he's just starting. <laughs> so now, now I can go back to exactly where Megan was and now with, I mean, 10 years more experience, 10, 14 more years of experience um, and doing the same thing with Zach that I did with Megan. I'm like, oh man, she, I mean, the role that she had to do or, or go through to get to where she is now. Um, but it's also why I can say, I mean, she's had more feedback um, the, on the table about hand position, direction of force and, and all of these different things and, and um, really understanding what are you trying to accomplish. And it's been so great to see uh, I mean, like I said, Megan is our top instructor in the RX process. She's teaching most of the classes. And who better to teach those classes than somebody who's had that much definitive information or feedback from, I mean, not the developer lying on the table. And it's great to see when I hear, watch her teach and, and listen in the back, it's like, she says things that, oh, she listened to everything I say when, and, and she gives those um, that perspective to the students and nobody else would have that and all of our education processes up to that point um, no other instructor has that much much detail in their head um, because they haven't gotten feedback i mean four to five days a week for years uh, she said 2008 she started i mean working on me so all that feedback and um which comes with frustrations and and learning i mean learning is always frustrating and and uh, but the nice thing is is when you do something wrong you don't forget and that's exactly oh then then she gets it right and then i hear her teaching it the same way and saying this is awesome because those are the details because it's second nature to me they're the details that unless i'm laying on the table i'm not thinking about she's thought about them she's gone through and now she can transfer that information into our students which has been i mean unbelievable to, to how it's allowing our students to to develop at this point compared to early on in, in our education processes and so maybe I think, I mean, that would be the next thing is say from a perspective of um, where you were as a, as a MAT practitioner and, and then moving into master level and RX level, um, explain that, uh, how it's progressed. Like if you're a student looking forward with like start, like tell your, tell your story of where you were working with clients then what your thought process perspective was and now you where you are now and then looking back and saying wow at where i am as a practitioner now compared to where i was then what's been that evolution and the positives the negatives and what would what would be your story yeah absolutely so you know i coming right out of college and into mat i didn't have experience of putting my hands on somebody i wasn't even a personal trainer um, MET is my career. There's, there's no other component to it. And so when you go from nothing to this hands-on skill set, it was very overwhelming and very nerve wracking from a standpoint of how do I take what I, what I learned in class and actually do this on a client? Um, thankfully you're given all of those tools. So I knew how to do it. I just had to build up the, the confidence and the comfortability with that, which is where your friends and family come into play because you have to do all of your practice on them and, and get comfortable with it. But even at that, like Greg said, you don't have to be great at this to still have success. So looking back 14 years ago, my thought process was probably pretty shaky. My skill set was definitely shaky, but people were feeling better. And that's what's so powerful about this is you get to go to work every day and help people feel better. And then as I progressed through both the education, our formal education into master level classes, but also the education that I had with Greg, my skill set got better. I felt more confident. 
I could apply things a little bit better, then I could do more than just help the person who had a little bit of back pain. Then I started getting a little bit more complicated clients um, whose nervous systems were a little bit more frail. Um, because as you progress your skill set, you're able to help people that need you even more. And so I was able to do that. And then as I progressed through RX, seeing the results that I get with people now versus 14 years ago, it's, it's night and day. Um, and there are a lot of people that if I could have back now, I think I could really help them. But with where I was, I didn't have the capabilities at that time. I could still help a lot of people. I was still able to build a business. I was still able to make money, which is ideal, um, and help people. But there, I wasn't able to help everyone. And that's as you progress through the education and your skill set gets better, you're able to help more and more people. The cool thing, though, is along the way, as MAT continues to grow, there are people that you can send someone to. You can always send some your client up the chain. Hey, I'm all I'm certified in is lower body, but you've got a shoulder issue. Let me find somebody in the area who's a full body specialist or you're a full body specialist, but you think they might need that master level thought process. Okay, let's find you a practitioner that does master level. Or I think you really need RX. I think you're going to benefit from that. Let's find an RX practitioner in our area so that you can work with them. Um, and it's the community of MAT is so great because there is that ability to, to find what the client needs and to help people in all of those ways. And as you continue your education, you become that master level process that maybe a lower body specialist is going to send their client to you, or you become an RX practitioner and you're the person in the area that the other practitioners are looking for towards for help or questions and things like that. Um, but it is, it's such a powerful tool that you can make such a big difference no matter where you are in this education process. But as you continue to go through it, it's, it's unbelievable how you can help people. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's, I mean, probably the biggest key is that that's what this program is all about. And I've said it forever and I'll continue to say it is, I mean, there needs to be an MAT practitioner in every corner of every city of every state and every country um, because it is, a, it's a unique property and it, it literally uh, fills a void. I never have to say it's better than anything else, uh, but there's definitely a place for it. Uh, I, I find when people have weaknesses, um, they can do all these different modalities and, and try things, but they still come in and those weaknesses, unless those weaknesses have been addressed, nothing else is going to bring tighten, nothing else is going to tighten those battery cables. Exercise doesn't correct these inhibition problems, stretching, deep tissue work, they can temporarily loosen up tissues, but the weaknesses are still there. So the body goes back into the tightened state. And, and so there, there's a place for MAT. Uh, and it needs to be everywhere. And that's, I mean, Megan's been just a, a big key in our education process to get more and more people uh, educated at all levels of this process. And, and the neat thing is, is like Megan said, there, uh, there's different layer, levels of practitioners. And one of the things I tell our students is you're only as good as what you know now but be happy where you're at now because where you're at now, you can make some significant impact on, on people's lives. And, and so in our facility, um, we get people calling from all over the country with the, I mean, all the media um, hype with MAT and some of the things with the athletes and sports have been involved with. Uh, there's, I mean, people want to get on my schedule all the time and my schedule is limited. And I mean, I'm overloaded all the time. And, and so the nice thing is, is we can tell people, but we have people, Megan in our office and Ilya and, and Zach in our office, all different layers of, of education and, and uh, experience. And it's like, let's get you with another practitioner that you fit with relative to what your complaints are. And then if things don't work, I mean, if it, if it seems more complicated, then we'll refer back up the chain and work out to get you on my schedule. 
99% of the time people don't have to come. I mean, they then all of a sudden they get treated, say they get on Megan's schedule and Megan treats them and it's like, they're happy. They're, they're getting everything that they wanted. And, and uh, I never hear from them again, thinking that, oh, well, they want to work their way back eventually to get on my schedule because they're getting exactly what they were searching for. And that's what I wanted with the MAT process is to make something re reproducible that no matter where you go in the country, that you can expect the same type of result. You know, there's different levels of experience and, and skill set, which will always correlate, but not everybody needs the highest level of, of MAT uh, skills to, to, or education, you should say, the highest level, say the RX process, to get what they want from um, improving their neuromuscular function. And so at any layer from a client side of it, they can start with anyone with it certified at any level of MAT and find out, does this work for what I'm looking for? Um, or if it's more complicated, both the practitioner and the, um, the client will understand that there's a, a, a hierarchy, if you wanna say, that uh, you can move up with, your, um, with the practitioners. But even at the most basic level of MAT, the specialist level, if, I mean, from body part, if you have a knee problem and you got a lower body specialist, they can do some powerful things. Uh, if it's a total body issue, the shoulders, neck, and knees, and everything, well, the, the lower body specialist can help you to a degree, but the, uh, you're probably going to want somebody that's certified in the whole body. And then if it's more complicated than that, then you just move up the chain. And, and Larry, that's, that's our goal, is just to, to provide an a environment where um, there's inner transfer through practitioners and different com companies have like we have here at the corporate facility where you can filter upward, filter downward, uh, but everybody's taken care of. And again, that's our, that's our main goal. So I think in, in closing, Megan, I'd say, I mean, to, if we have your, our main educator in the MAT process and shows how far you've come in 14 years and uh, from being a high school athlete with the subluxing patella to, to now lead, being our lead instructor, teaching all of the, the RH um, in-house classes with the hands-on skills. I mean, give any more word of advice to anyone that's interested in learning this process and where to start and, and what, how to look at it from the entrance point. And when you're hearing us at the, when I say highest level, when you're seeing the, the uh, not the exit point, but the end, end result is where we're at now. And hopefully that always progresses too. That should mm -hmm. always improve. But any word of advice to people entering this education model? Yeah, I would say get started. I think it can seem very daunting um, and it can seem like, oh my gosh, I have to be an RX level practitioner to help people. And it's, it's not true. Um, you get to help people from day one of your education. And that's the really cool thing. And now that it's through Broadview and available online, it's, it's so much more accessible. And I have to tell you from, from the experience of both of our education programs, this, this process of learning for 12 weeks and then coming in for hands-on information and, and fine tuning with the material that you've just learned for 12 weeks is, is really setting you as a student up for absolute success. And it has been such a powerful process um, with learning. We've, I mean, we've been creating fantastic practitioners all along. So it's not like our old model wasn't working by any means, but this is more accessible to people. We're able to reach people in different areas of the country um, or even the world because you can do it from home. And if you're thinking, well, I've got to go through the whole process before I can even start a business, it's just simply not true. You just have to get started. You'll be helping people right off the bat and all along throughout your entire education process. And most people don't get to say that. Most people don't get to say that they're helping people and building a business and creating a career while they're still learning. But that's what you get to do with MET. And just, just sign up, go do it. It's awesome and you will not regret it. Yeah, and that's one of the things I always say. And they say that like in medical practice or physical therapy practice, it's practice. Every day you go to work, you're practicing. So I've, I've always said, I mean, this continues to evolve and I get paid to learn every day. 
every day somebody walks and lies down on the table and it's like they they didn't show me a, a biomechanical system that i haven't seen before and then you have to figure out how to adapt and 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 you learn from everybody that walks in the door and and so i mean it's never it's a never-ending process but i'd say i mean uh, off of what megan's saying is just if you're if you just new to mat and and just hearing some of this for the first time I and mean, you can start, I mean, go to muscleactivation.com. We're actually proud of our new website. Um, we've just got, I mean, it's been a lot of work to get our new website up. Our, our uh, technical staff has done a great job of, of, um, with, of developing this new website. It's really user-friendly for both practitioner, potential practitioners and potential clients. And if your client looking to um, find a practitioner in your area, Go to muscleactivation.com and look under finding a specialist and you can find someone local. If you're looking at our education model, I mean, if you're brand new to this and you just say, I want to know more about MAT. Uh, the COVID um, time period allowed me to write a book. And I wrote the Jumpstart book, which used to be our introductory class to the principles of, of MAT. And now it's called Jumpstart into MAT. And it literally gives you all the history, the scientific rationale behind MAT and gives tools to work with as a practitioner to start implementing on your clients and, and trying to work with the with just with the basic foundational principle. And even at that level, you can have success and that can lead you into saying, hey, I want to learn more and I want to go through uh, the full program. Then we have our whole education system and all that's laid out on our on our website also. So we've tried to make this as user friendly for both uh, potential practitioners and uh, potential clients. And so thank you for taking the time again, uh, Megan, you know, most unique position of any buddy that's ever come through this program. So thank you for all you've done over the years and and continue and will continue to do in the future because you've been a major impact in in the development and impact of MAT on the community. Well, thank, thank you. you. I definitely appreciate getting to be part of it. Um, it's it's fantastic. So thank you for letting me be part of it and having me here today. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. All right.